We have four people here and all of them are claiming to have crashed this car. The judges, Yanni from Yanomais and former staff members Dion and Rio have been tasked to figure out who totaled it. Who do you think is telling the truth? Oh, that is four different looking people. Can't lie, I think this is going to be a struggle. Takes me back to breakdance. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys, my name's Amon and I'm a driving instructor. Hi guys, I'm Zoe and I run Dark Road Performance. Hi, my name is Lewis. I play wheelchair basketball now and I'm a student. Hi, I'm Kiri and I'm a wholesale clothing salesman. Okay, now let's not start with zooming in, yeah? Let's, let's not do that. It looks like Rio drove this car. What do you mean? It looks like Dion drove this car, bro. Don't say that because I've actually You've got, got the one same car. <laughs> what don't make sense to me, the damage is at the top. No, but there's no bottom there, you nutter. No, but like... The bottom's missing. I, I wear glasses, by the way. <laughs> A great day not to wear them then. <laughs> so what about the bumper? <laughs> <laughs> what about the bro? I'm trying to analyze what this properly. What are you properly. looking at, mate? Why are you going so close to your face? Does that look like a driving instructor accident? No, no way. You never know. They might have had an off day. She's the only woman here as well. I'm not involved I'm not in that woman. I'm just saying, I don't think. I'm pointing out. I'm pointing out. Bro, I think I don't want to get cancelled. Right, I'm getting cancelled with everyone else. So, um, this is my first car. This is the accident that I was actually telling you about. Um, I was uh, approaching a traffic light to make a right turn. I'm waiting in the middle and it's a near side turn where you kind of go like this and the traffic in front turns in front of you. And there is a massive bus blocking my view and I can't see anything. And I thought, let me just edge forward to see if it's clear. And as I've done that, I've been hit by a Range Rover and been spun 180 and the bonnet basically kind of shifted, airbags out, the lot. The bonnet hasn't shifted anywhere, the bonnet is there in full view. And she's, and she's a driving instructor. So you see the way she explained that, near side this and I was here and the bus was there and my vision there and I edged forward. You know, you're getting a red for that. That, that is just a major fault you failed. Yeah, she can talk the talk, but I don't think she walked the walk. No? Nah. What about, not with those shoes? Nice shoes, but <laughs> uh, <laughs> Okay, all right, we'll go, we'll go to Zoe. I crashed, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Done, game over. We'll see you, see you later, yeah, okay. No, I was, uh, I was traveling down the autobahn, as I do. The autobahn? Yeah, the autobahn. You know, having a little bit of fun with a guy in a BMW, had to show him my gun. <laughs> the, gap, uh, the gap closed on me, and you know, the, the damage speaks for itself. I mean, I want to believe him, because you know, VWs to the world, we don't like BMs, but... Um... but oh, there's, there's, there's a couple of things here. You, Jim Carrey, liar, liar. Zoe, liar, liar. My man said the autobahn. Have you not seen this picture? Yeah, it got recovered, didn't it? It got recovered to where? Which boy? Hill. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, he said the autobahn and the picture's pictured in, in somewhere in, in the UK, in London. Yeah, so my story is I was picking one of my friends up in London and I was going to take him to go to football. And obviously I was going around the roundabout and two cars hit the other side because it's got damage on the passenger side, as you can see, but it also damaged the driver's side where I was driving. And this is how I'm disabled now. Uh, and I'm paralyzed because I got nerve damage from the hit of a crash. He played that one well, especially the fact we can't see that driver's side. Well. We can't see the driver's side. And the thing is I can't see any airbags gone. So they've all got flaws in all their stories so far. Yeah, but I know what the golf bonnets are like, they crumple easy. But the bonnet's there in full view, what are you talking about? Well, that's what I'm saying, if you said it had damage Actually, from no, both sides. Actually, no, there is airbag one, look. No, that's the seat. It no, looks no, like look, it, look properly. Is that the airbag? That's the dashboard. The passenger's thing is flipped Yeah? Up yeah, both, both airbags went off. He just said he crashed. And the car's on Winchmore Hill. <laughs> 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 All right, thank you. Kiri. So, I was, in the, I was in the car with three of my boys, and we're on the motorway now. And you know, I've been driving at, on that day for about an hour prior to this. And you know, if you've been driving for some time, you know your bum gets a bit stiff. So, you know... Pause! Pause! You know, you know them ones. So obviously I'm driving on the motorway now. And you know, I'm feeling that, that little cramp in, in, the, in the bum. So I'm trying to like, kind of, you know, and I got... <laughs> I'm feeling Wait, hold cramp up. in the bum. And then, so I got three of my boys in the car. They're all like six foot. Also, so I had to push my chair all the way up against the pedals because of that stiffness. Because of that stiffness, and now I'm I'm doing 90, and I'm trying to get up, trying to move a bit, 
and yeah, obviously swerved a little and hit a van. Mate, all I heard was stiffness, my ass, stiffness, my leg, some more stiffness, and three of my friends were in my car. I mean, I have had it. Was he even driving? Like <laughs> pause, pause. <laughs> pause, pause. <laughs> no, the last bit he said, he went to like, you know, his bum was all dead, he's gone to move and the car swerved a bit. One or two times, he might have to go grab something. And, and he then, just jerked. Yeah, so. No, but everyone's again, done it, no? on... Everyone's done it, where you've been on a long journey and your bum's a bit stiff because you've been driving for so long. You want to stand up a let's, bit? Let's stop with the stiff in the bum. Yes. Yeah, let, let, let's put a pause there for it. Let, let's just have pause permanently on the screen right now. Again, my argument here, my, my point is, he's on a motorway. Where's your car in Witchmore Hill as well? Downhill's Park. I don't know where that I'm going to act like I know where that I is. I know exactly where that is. That's in Tottenham. I don't know, that looks a bit too it nice looks too to nice Tottenham, for Tottenham, bro. bro. What part are you in? Bro, they're not all... <laughs> not, not, the whole of Tottenham ain't dusty, there's some nice areas. Yeah, no. Nah. <laughs> you like Edmonton, that's why. You like Edmonton, boys. We're like borderline, innit, in the middle. I'm between Edmonton and Tottenham. No man's land. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Where's this car parked? Where's it parked? Norwood Green. Norwood Green. So what, is it outside your house? Yeah. Wow, you all live there. That's it. <laughs> So it's outside your house, yeah? I mean, it's not the typical car that a driving instructor would have, but you Well, I wasn't a driving instructor at, at that the point. Time. Well, you say it's your first car, right? So the insurance must have been quite expensive, expensive. even before the crash. Yeah. Lewis, what car is that? It's a GTI. Uh, I can't really remember the full spec of the car, uh, because obviously the accident and things, but I know it's a GTI. So what car is that? It's a GTI, isn't it? <laughs> it's a Chevrolet. What car is this? Edition 30 GTI. Edition 30 GTI? 1.8. Okay, what year? 10, 2010. 2010, what year is this car? 06. 06? What, what mark is this? Five. It's a mark five. See, she's instant with the, which is instant. As much as she, it doesn't, you wouldn't put her to this car, she's very instant. Zoe is just out here, just like Pinocchio. Wow. Just like. Zoe's just Zoe, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> He, he just drops the gear and he disappears. He disappears <laughs> like, That's my brother, that's not me, man. Kiri, how much did you pay for this car? I didn't buy it. My dad did. Oh, nice. Greek family. Big up pups. Big up pups. Well, I didn't purchase it. My brother got it for me. I think at the time, it must have been about 22. Okay. 22,000. It was quite a few years ago. It was my first car. It was 17 at the time. And being the youngest, being spoiled, they kind of get me whatever I want, so. And how old are you now, sorry? You can't I'm 32 now. I'm female with that question. Shh, I'm just trying to work out something. <laughs> well, you're a smooth one with the girls, yeah? Can't ask this female that question. <laughs> how old are you? I'm 20. You're 20, was this your first car? Uh, my first car, I started driving at 17 in COVID and I had to recover during COVID and I didn't see any of my family in hospital. I'm literally doing my driving lessons at the moment because I'm like, trying to learn in an automatic car with hand controls and things because I've never had to do that before because I was able to use pedals. Interesting. So where is that Where is that picture taken? Uh, that's outside my brother's house. That's outside your brother's house. Yeah. Did you buy that car? No, no. Of course you didn't. Right, everyone's no, just no, getting everyone just on the Freemans. Yeah, everyone's getting handed GTI. That's it, exactly. It's the only part of all your families. <laughs> yeah, I wish I got mine. I'm not even asking you. I'm just definitely not looking at <laughs> just ignore Zoe fully. So who bought your car for you? Uh, my brother. Your brother bought yeah, your yeah. car. So your brother bought your car. Your dad bought your car. Your brother bought your car. Zoe, do you want to just, just let me just guess? I bought it myself, innit? Of course. <laughs> yeah, uh, I paid 10 grand for that. Uh, this was... Five and a half years ago, six years ago. So you're 2010, you're 2006. As in, yeah, the car. What year are you? The, the car. car, the car, 2005. So 2005, 2006, 2010. Zoe? It was a 56. <laughs> He has to be extra in everything. He has to be extra in everything. I know who I'm voting off. <laughs> you know who you're voting off? No, I'm stuck. <laughs> it's, uh, what do you mean? It's just, we all, I think we all know who we're voting off. Yeah. For sure, you ready? Yeah. We're getting rid of number two. two. We went for four. <laughs> How are you not getting rid of Zoe? <laughs> Rid of Zoe, bro. I thought it was so obvious you were gonna say two with me. You'll get rid of Kieran. I'm getting rid of Zoe, bro. Zoe is not a good liar. Everything he said, I mean, sounded like a lie. Like, no, like, Zoe's just... like one of them, them mysterious guys that like, I ain't heard enough yet. He's just giving his one well, do you, word. Do you, think he's, do you think he's playing it? So you want to get rid of Kiri, and I want to get rid of Zoe. Reason why I say Kiri, yeah, because you know, like when someone tells a story and they can't 
not smile. Like he's smiling so much, talking about the stiff bum and everything. Bro, bro, I could be telling you the saddest story. I'm just smiling. <laughs> I'm just smiling, bro. I'll be, I'll be real. I'll be real. You know I me. I can't take him serious. When everyone was talking about the years of the car, everyone else said like basically 2006, 2005. Kieran came with 2010. Valid. So That's it was like valid. way off. Ba based on the 2010 and things like that, Kieran would definitely be my second out. And he said 1.8, it's a two litre, it offended me. <laughs> <laughs> Might go for Zoe, just cause he's just there. Zoe can't, he can't be playing us. The thing is now, you've planted the seed thinking, has he just proper just sort of mugged us off? Ammon is so she's cold smooth and with it. I'm not she's gonna lie. smooth. She's like, yeah. Zoe looks like you've not got hope in hell, but now you're, now you're planting the seed. Lewis, I'm on the fence with Lewis. So no, I'm not going I, I, I can believe it. Really? Yeah. Okay, you going Kiri? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna, thinking about the I'm gonna, I'm gonna convert across. Real I'm gonna convert across then, yeah? Kiri, you are the weakest link. Goodbye. <laughs> Is there anything that you may have that you can prove to bait? Listen, uh, it's me. I'm, I'm that guy or girl that, that this happens. Yeah, I've, I've got one. This is me on a work site. Um, and I'm just messing around with a few of my work colleagues. So what are you doing? You're playing uh, with an apple? Yeah, basically we're just playing on our lunch break. We're just throwing with an apple around and just Ooh, decided to play. How, how does that show that? So basically, he's walking this, this is me. I'm, I'm able to walk and now I'm not able to walk. Because of this accident, I am now paralyzed. Okay, the thing is, when I, when I look at this accident, this accident doesn't look serious enough to cause something like that. that that's my, my initial when, I, when I'm looking at this. So is there anything you can just be like, listen, it's definitely me guys. Don't worry about them two, they're liars. No, like I said, the car was spun 180 and it was most of the impact was on that side because it was a Range Rover that just come flying past. You see when it says a Range Rover come flying past, that makes a bit of sense, do you know why? Because the front bumper, the height, but also the front bumper's not That's damaged. That's what I was saying before. That's very convincing. Are we, are we going to Zoe? <laughs> Zoe, oh, <laughs> let me hear this story. Bro, it's a fast golf and I run dark road performance. What more do you want from me, bro? <laughs> <laughs> this is real. Plug. <laughs> talk about plugging himself. No, but it's the truth. Like, it's a fast VW Audi. What, what, car, what car hit you? Sprinter van on the right and a Vito on the left. Should I hit my both cars? No, I hit them real hard. You hit both cars. How did you hit both cars? It was gapping, innit? Nah, this, this was the old me, you know? I've changed since then. I'm very responsible. Bro, on this picture, it looks navy blue. Yeah, and I know they do want us navy looks blue. Like a oh, no, wait, wait, hold on a minute. It's an edition 30. I don't think it's navy blue. Okay, no. forget that theory. They did navy in the, Pire the Pirelli edition. Pirelli, but, but not edition the, uh, 30. <laughs> Knowledgeable. Car guy. Yeah. So straight after the car accident, what happened? Did you just get out or? So the airbags went out, it's all dust everywhere. And then there was a guy on a motorbike who was behind the Range Rover. He pulled up and then he came and got me out of my car. Don't quote me, but I think there was about three police cars, three fire brigade, two ambulance, and then I was rushed to hospital. Even though I was fine, but it was just a bit scary. So what I noticed there, while she was talking, I wasn't looking at her. I was looking at Mr. Let me come up with the best thing in my head. He was like this. Mm, what am I going to say? What am I going to say? I promise you. Should we, should we hear Zoe's story? Go on, Zoe. So, so let, let, let me hear what you after, thought. Yeah? Yeah. Boom. I've tried to get out of the car. Door wasn't opening this side. Passengers tried to get out. Wasn't opening that side. So we've had to give it a little kick. Got out. Went and checked. <laughs> Fast and furious. <laughs> uh, went and checked on the other drivers because we were cool. Um, they were in a van and a veto. Bro, they hit the central res and all sorts. Like, I threw them out of the way. Like, it was bad. Right, check this out. He's finished. He's finished. We've got some yeah. in the building. <laughs> they hit the central reservation. The, no, oh, sorry. The veto on the left hit the mm. left reservation. <laughs> the sprint on the right went onto the middle lane. Reservation? You put it into a hotel? I don't know. What, what do you call it then? The barriers on the left. Sorry. Yeah, that's the one. And then, yeah, I went and checked on them. I gave them my details. Called my boy Nedge. I was there in two minutes, put the car on the truck, and I was gone. Was he it? was there in two minutes? Does he live in Germany? Yeah. Does he? 
Oh, to be honest, I'm done with these. I can actually stop with these questions. We can just get rid of Zoe right now. Right, Lewis. Yeah. So straight after the accident, were you conscious? Uh, no, I was. I had a blackout. I couldn't move at all, and I had to get out by the car by fire engine and ambulance uh, because I was just completely blackout, and I had obviously nerve damage at the back of my spine, and I couldn't move at all. I, I can't. There's not enough. There's not enough. The passenger with the. There's not enough. All, all it was is nerve damage at the back of my spine. I can move my my upper body fine. It's just my, my lower my lower limbs. The impact doesn't look crazy enough though. So and what, the ambulance and... What injuries did your... I mean, I don't believe anyone's ambulance and fire brigade and all, like that sounds a bit too much for that. They couldn't get me out by just pulling me out. So they had to get the fire brigade to help me get out by a transfer board and other things to get me out. What did you hit? I hit a car. What car? Going around the roundabout. I think it was a BM. I can't remember, really remember. So this happened going around the roundabout? Yeah, yeah. So you were coming around the roundabout? And it hit the passenger seat and then I slid into the side of the barrier uh, on the opposite side from a roundabout. That's how it happened. I don't know. I don't know. I, I more believe the, the Range Rover. Kind of. With the three ambulances and the yeah, three this and the three that. But I'm don't quote me on it. Yeah. You know the thing with her stories, there's like a believable point. I'm like, okay, and then it just goes off. And she just goes off on a tangent. It's like, it's the truth, truth, truth. Yeah. <laughs> now, do we know who we need one to vote off this time? Yes. Dion? <sighs> I think so, yeah. <laughs> so it's one, two, three. You're not sure you're going to vote for two, yeah? What? No one said anything. No one said two? Oh, I, I thought that's what said. you said. No, how I oh. talk is two, and then. Okay, I know, I know who I want to vote off. We're going to vote off three. three. I didn't even say anything, I just moved Why, bro? He does... what? what number are you giving us, Dion? I said three. I said three as well. I'm going for three as well because I'm just not rocking with the story. Yeah, I've um, got nothing to say. <laughs> <laughs> Good argument. I'll tell you what, you need him in court with you. You, you, sh you sure you don't want to be number two? You sure you don't want to pick number two? <laughs> this is... I, I can't believe him, but it's just, it's just Zoe, and it could just be a total flip it's where he's made us just get him out, him, and it's him. Okay, we stick him with it. We don't believe it's you, Lewis. Thank you. Okay. Did you get in trouble with the police because of this accident? Uh, no. The car was picked up by on time, and it was taken to the um, what's it called? The little the place where they take it. Um, but I just kind of didn't know what happens after an accident, so I kind of left it there for a few weeks. And then I get a letter through the post saying, oh, you know, your car's here, and this is how much you owe us. And then I was like, oh, great. <laughs> so I had to go pick up the car after about two weeks of it being there. So it was about 550 pounds to go pick it up, which was, yeah, quite a bit. <laughs> There's a lot. Good story, that. Oh. Can, I, can I hear your side of the story? Did I get in trouble by the police? Mm. Not necessarily. They tried, but there wasn't enough uh, evidence. What was it Metropolitan Police? Yeah. Was it? Oh, oh you're in no, Germany, sorry. mate. German police. German police. <laughs> I think we're done here. <laughs> I think we're done here. Oh, um, afterwards, obviously, I didn't really know what to do with the car. Well, I ended up selling the car to a colleague of mine at work. He goes, oh, I've got a really nice laptop, a brand new laptop. And I was like, OK. He goes, I can swap you the car for the laptop. Oh my and I was God. like, OK. No, you know what? For me at the time, it was a great deal because the car is just there and I don't know what to do with it. I don't know how to get it fixed. So for me, it was just like, ah, oh, I swapped my car for a laptop. How much is that car worth? Well, she said she paid 22 for it brand new. Or In 2006? I didn't buy it in 2006. Uh, when did you buy it? I bought it in 08. In 08. 08, okay. All right, but then 22 grand, that's like brand, brand new. So that's still going to be 15 grand in it 08. It still would have been a bit less. And then even so, even if you crash the car, you know it's still going to at least be 10 grand. So to swap that must have been some No, I don't think it was 10 grand. No, but With the, the damage time. that was on the car, first of all, and then the fact that I really didn't know what to do with the car that's just there, I mean, and nobody in my family was saying... What laptop was that? <laughs> Honestly, it wasn't worth it. <laughs> it definitely wasn't worth it. I'd be hitting myself if I swapped it for like a HP or something. She did that hard. But then... Still, even if it was crashed, just a few years down the line, it's not worth a laptop, is it? But no, like I said, when the accident first happened, the reason why there was fire brigade and police and everything, when they come up, they cut up all the wires 
inside. So for me, that car was, there was no use for it. I'd have to replace everything. Well, they don't cut up all the wires. They, cut the, they just cut the battery. They don't cut all the wires. I don't know, what, but for when I looked at it, there's all these cuts in it. I don't what really know doing? what's what. We knew it was you and now all of a sudden it's like, now, it's, now it's she's telling Paul, you've been standing next to Zoe too long. It's like he's rubbing off on you now. I don't know, now I'm lost. I, I thought we had it. It ain't Zoe. You haven't asked what I did with the car though. Yeah, what did you do with the car? So I bought it back off Copart and I put it into a caddy van. The whole engine, oh, that's bro. wrong. You know, that's so believable. I'm lost now. I'm lost. I don't know what to do. I swear he did have a caddy van. Yeah, it ain't him. It ain't him. I ain't gonna lie, if they tell me it's Kiri, I'm gonna go nuts. I'm just, I'm just saying now. I don't think it's Kiri. It's not Kiri, is it? No. It's not Kiri, is it? It's not, is it? <laughs> He's definitely not, is it? He was a worse liar than Zoe, wasn't he? Okay, right, so we're gonna choose, yeah? Yes, yeah, that's the yeah, cool. Right, okay, so on three, but it's still only one and two, yeah? <laughs> okay. Three, two, one, one. one. So we're all in agreement that it is one and it is Ammon. Uh, we're gonna bring all the contestants back and we're gonna find out who was really driving this car. It's so obvious. That's making me think now it's not her. Listen, we've all made our decision. There's yeah. only ever one, like, one other person that I think. Which is who? Zoe. No, you've made your you think you've it's got Zoe. Lying it. So let me just understand this. You think the only other person could it's be Zoe? It's out of these two. Okay, no, no, you can't say so. it's out of these four. No, yeah, I've said it. Ammon already, yeah? Okay. But if it wasn't, my second option would be Zoe. Okay, so your second option would be Zoe, yeah? Who's your, who's your, your, your second option would be Lewis? I don't know, I'm down. Ah, oh, Dion, man. So what are you saying? Ah, oh, Dion, options? man. What? You can't have a... Bro. No, because you said Lewis and now you're, you're not saying Lewis. Okay, but we didn't go through with that decision. Yeah, but then still... Why are you getting on to me, bro? Just let me do All my All right, cool. Thing, so who do you think then? Go on. So go on then. I think first option, obviously we all had the same agreement. Second, I've got to go for Zolt because before, like I was saying... Man, just, thanks, mate. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. I have to. It's the certain stuff that Zoe said that got me. I was like, oh. But Amon was just so confident. She would, she just delivered the lines like, bro, oh, <clears throat> just natural. But yeah, where's Zoe's story? I'm not going to be accurate, accurate gonna... but three ambulances and three police cars and two motorbikes and what, like, sh Zoe said don't quote me on it though. Autobahn and then the Met turn up. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, exactly. You got auto, buddy, went Metropolitan Police. In two minutes, my friend was here. Does he live in Germany? Uh, uh, yeah. Mate, he couldn't be any more of a liar. And he got the car back to Winchmore Hill. And he got the car back to Winchmore Hill. I was just covering myself in case you asked specific, you know, things about speed and, you know, those sort of things. In all fairness, Jan, you can make anyone panic. You can. I've seen so many people crumble in front of you, so. <laughs> yeah, to be fair, Jan's made me feel like I'm lying about my name and stuff like that. Like. I just asked a simple question. Just a simple question. Right. Are we, gonna, are we gonna see who it was? Yeah, let's do it. Can the driver of this car come forward? Oh, oh, I played you man so bad. <laughs> see? <laughs> it was me. He's good. He's, He's good. good. I crashed the car. Basically, I was coming down uh, a dual carriageway, uh, having some fun with a BMW. There was a gap on the left, which I took so that I could get in front of him. But then there was a Sprinter van on the left and a VO on the right. I was like, something was true then. And then the Sprinter braked, closed the gap. I'm still traveling at- Whatever speed. At 60, yeah, okay. Um, and I've just, you know, gone through the middle of them at, at 60. Yeah. I can't believe it. I lined it up good though. You know, damage ain't that bad. Yeah, the caddy got reviewed Bro, on Demo's channel. That's what I was saying, as soon as I heard about the caddy, I remember on. seeing the video on that caddy. So that had an Edition 30 it. engine, yeah. the DSG gearbox, yeah. TTE 420 turbo, big welly cooler. To you. I, don't, I don't like you. Yeah. Like, if she has a partner, I feel sorry for a partner, because she ever does anything, yeah, she's going like, to believe she's you anyway. Good. She's good. <laughs> so where did this Where did this happen? Where? Mexico. In Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you were just very, like, you were so you good. You know what it was? I did have an accident exactly like that, and it was around the time that I said, and it was a golf, that's why I just used everything so you, that did so happen. So that's why, so you used a past experience to trick us. Yeah. Because the accident, it just didn't look serious enough. 
and the driver's side wasn't... And the Apple head button wasn't convincing. Yeah, it was it? It just wasn't, was it? And that was my twin brother. How was it? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, so it wasn't an accident. I've never been in a car crash and I don't drive. At the moment, I am learning how to drive, uh, but I play wheelchair basketball uh, in Essex and I hopefully want to go into that England team and things, but uh, I just need to practice more and get better. Um, but that's always everyone's dream if you're disabled and you play wheelchair basketball, so. Can I ask how, how you got in the wheelchair? Uh, basically, I was born from birth with cerebral palsy. It just okay. affects my, my lower limbs and basically my left side of my body. Uh, so my balance is not great, but uh, I can stand up and move around, but uh, I can't walk unless I'm holding on to something. So, yeah, that, that's my how I am in a wheelchair, not being hit by a car or a crash or anything. So. What about you? you? Oh, we forgot you were here, Kerry. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, man. Well, Rio said a valid point. He said, what was it? To fit three six foot Yeah, how plus. many people you say? Four six foot people in the golf. Three. three. Yeah, that's a bit mad. And he was driving. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? When he moved his stick. Fair play, so. it was, it was, Do you know what it is? It was too obvious that it was Ammon. And that was my thing. It was too obvious that it was Ammon, but we still went with her because it was just Bro, no, so just Does know. this mean I won? Because like, I fooled you lot. Basically. 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 Come on. Team Dark Grade. <laughs> Bro, just because of his like overall body language, you're just the way he is, he's just not his serious. His body language, his demeanour. Yeah, it's just not cheeky, serious. So you know, he's not serious. Ammon was serious, so I'm like, okay, cool. Lewis was too serious. He's a driving instructor, oh, that's why. <laughs> yeah, Lewis was too serious and Kiri was just, I was just he, was, he was just the added, he was just large. Kiri I'll just, just, I'll just bring the Lewis in the toes, you know what I mean? So that is the end of the video. Thank you to Kiri, Lewis, Zoe and Ammon. We got played, we got fooled. Stay tuned on the next video. And obviously it was myself, Dion and Rio. See you later, thanks for watching guys. Yeah, we done Yang's Yeah, outro. we done your outro. Did you? Excuse me, yeah. well done. Man! <laughs> <laughs>